Hey everyone, before we get into this video, I want to remind you to enter our Animal Crossing New Horizons giveaway. In order to enter that giveaway, all you gotta do is like this video, leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell icon. If you do that on every video for the rest of the month through March 18th, you get an additional entry on every video. And then, hey, look, we announced the winner on March 19th. It will be a digital code. It will be the North American version of the game, but hey, the Switch is region free, so it doesn't matter. It works worldwide. Today, folks, we're talking about Breath of the Wild 2, or the sequel as it's officially called, uh, because there's some information that came across my desk. I've heard some whisperings about this game behind the scenes, but I am never really comfortable with the sources, quote unquote, I have uh, to come forward with things because I like to get verified from multiple places and the things I'm hearing are just coming from like single sources in different places. No one's corroborating anything. So I just kind of let it go unless I hear something else. And uh, what happened is over the weekend, my good friend Game Over Jesse came out with an interesting video and essentially confirmed a bunch of things that I've been hearing. Um, and Today we're going to be talking about how there's a new mode in Breath of the Wild to the sequel. Uh, there's a change to weapon durability. Those are like the two big things we're going to touch on. And potentially a new enemy being added to the game, a new enemy type. Of course there's going to be new enemies in the game. It's a, it's, you know, a new game. They're going to put new enemies in. Uh, but uh, this one kind of beckon, you know, goes back to Ocarina of Time. So let's get into it. So as I explained by Game Over Jesse, and he has sources directly connected to Nintendo. Like literally one of them is a Nintendo employee. Um, that's all I can really say on that front. He's not revealing much more than that. Uh, it's that Breath of the Wild 2 is going to have a new mode. And that new mode is going to be an easy mode. Now, in the past, we've seen master modes and hero modes and all that. These more difficult modes, uh, some of them added with Amiibo, like the Ganondorf Amiibo and like Twilight Princess HD, all the way to master mode in Breath of the Wild. Obviously, we've had modes in the past on Twilight Princess HD, uh, the Wind Waker HD, etc. Uh, there's been, you know, even even Skyward Sword, you know, had one built built in. Uh, obviously, the last time we had to pay for it, this next time we don't, etc. So, there's been a lot of different uh, hard modes added, and chances are, I would assume, there's going to be a hard slash master slash hero mode or something added to this game but that wouldn't be a new feature uh and wouldn't be worth talking about unless it's something that hey you could you could play that right away from the start or something you don't have to beat it in normal mode or whatever uh but we don't have any information on that front uh again that mode's likely to exist but this is a different mode than that this is what's being called an easy mode now it's not going to be called an easy you know easy mode in the final version of the game or anything like that or when it's even unveiled to us but what it is, is it adds one major difference. And I'm actually surprised they don't just make this a toggle in the items menu, you know, or, or in the items menu, in, in, the, in the menu of the game, the options menu. If they, it, you know, it makes more sense as a toggle than a whole mode. But I guess this is to address a lot of complaints in Breath of the Wild. Now, there's been numerous complaints about Breath of the Wild over the years. You know, the game's massively popular. Of course, there's going to be people finding things they don't like about it. And one of the major criticisms, really dating all the way back to the E3 2016 demo, is item durability. Uh, no, the durability system isn't going away for those that were hoping it might maybe it'll just vanish because uh, it's a core component to how the open world works and how combat works in Breath of the Wild. But what Easy Mode does do is make all of the items more durable. I believe it's something around twice the durability. However, the exact um, you know amount that's more durable isn't fully known because it hasn't been fully tested. Uh, but the idea is that items are much more durable and much harder to break. Uh, now, there are certain things like wooden shields and, and stuff like that. You know, if they get lit on fire, they're still going to, you know, burn and go away, just like they always have in Zelda games. But in general, you know, if you're whacking someone with a stick, that stick's going to last twice as long. And uh, the idea behind this is to keep your favorite weapons around even longer and lower the, the barrier of entry for new players. Now, honestly, it's funny that, to talk about this as a lowering the barrier of entry for new players because I don't think the durability system is about new players. I think it's just people that don't like or think that the durability of the items are, you know, aren't as, as strong as they should be. You know, that a steel sword should last a little longer than it does in this game. Uh, so the idea then is to offer this easy mode that makes things more durable. And it does not affect um, enemy damage to you. It does not affect your damage to other enemies. It doesn't affect the game in any other way. It's just a mode that enables you to have better weapon durability. So this might become the default favorite mode for a lot of people who really, really detest 
uh, the current weapon, weapon durability system in Breath of the Wild. Now, again, this is just for Breath of the Wild 2, the sequel. It's not being added to the original game, but it is uh, a change nonetheless. Now, it doesn't mean there can't be other changes in the game, of course, and this part gets into a little bit of speculation, but you guys remember, like, the champion's weapons, uh, how they, like, can break and then be reforged or repaired it's possible that, that that could be done in this game too again more speculation than anything else but if they're obviously looking at weapon durability and trying to improve that uh for the people who are complaining about it uh while normal mode is going to keep weapon durability the same as it always was uh it's possible they're also looking at ways for certain items to not be breakable or if they are breakable uh, that they're able to be reforged or repaired. I think earnestly um, a reforging system is the real answer to weapon durability because there's people that have their favorite weapons and they break and it's hard to get that weapon again. Maybe the ability to uh, reforge it could be something that uh, they could look into like they did do with the champion's weapons. But um, just something to, for Nintendo to maybe consider in the future. Now, uh, the other part of all of this is a rumor that's supposedly going up today. And, I, and I'm calling these rumors... Uh, for my sake, because I can't verify this information, but where it's coming from in Game Over Jesse, I inherently trust him wholeheartedly. Uh, he has been spot on with a lot of his leaks, a lot of his um, things like, you know, he said there'd be three different Zelda games talked about at E3, this last E3, and there were Cadence of Hyrule, Link's Awakening, Breath of the Wild 2. He knew about that before it happened, and that's because he has connections. He has literally had all the major voice actors from Breath of the Wild on his podcast. He has interviewed people from Nintendo. Uh, he has connections, believe it or not, and because of that, I fully trust him. He is someone I've worked with directly in the past, both as a YouTuber. He's been on our podcast. Uh, I've worked with him at other Zelda sites in the past, Zelda Informer and Zelda Dungeon and Zelda Universe, uh, back when you know those were the trifecta, the triforce of Zelda sites out there. Um, I literally trust this guy with anything that it comes to Zelda info because he does not put out things without uh, having verifiable sources. And uh, while I can't verify these sources, I trust him in who he says these sources are. Now, this next one about an enemy, uh, this one is not um, as set in stone. Uh, he's only had one source on this, so if he does put out a video on it today, uh, he's gonna note that you know he's not gonna he's gonna call this one a straight up rumor because you know, he's not talking about the easy mode uh, and the durability stuff as a rumor because he fully believes it and, and the people he's heard it from and he's got multiple sources on it. This one he only has one uh, so far, so uh, he's only going to uh you know kind of just mentioned that he knows about this but you know it might not be true and that is a new enemy type that comes from ocarina of time now I, at this point in time i could take some guesses he kind of hinted at it towards the end of his video uh but i'm not exactly sure what enemy it is i don't know if we're talking about um bemo so if we're talking about um you know whatever because he kind of just shows uh the laser being shot from uh you know the in breath of the wild from those enemies uh and we don't know uh, what that means and the other other enemies I can think of laser shooting from are Beemos so maybe that means Beemos are coming back or something um, I don't know that'd be kind of cool I wouldn't be shocked or surprised at it it's just something um, that is is to pay attention to today so make sure you check out Game Over Jesse's channel later today as I'm sure he'll be dropping a video on it at some point um, and yeah I mean that that's really all I got for you besides just in general being hyped for Breath of the Wild 2 uh, again, we have um, a rumor of a direct coming this week from last week. If you guys remember my last Prime News episode, uh, there was a talk about a, a direct coming this week based on updates to the Nintendo Direct playlist in Japan. Uh, there's been uh, other rumors out there that Breath of the Wild 2 will be in this direct. Breath of the Wild 2 will end up coming out this year. That That's kind of floating out there. There's also a rumor from about a month ago that Breath of the Wild 2 has been delayed until 2021. Of course, officially there's no delay because we don't have a release date. It's still TBA uh, in the financial reports. But um, there's just a lot going on out there. And the more and more I'm starting to hear uh, much more trusted information about Breath of the Wild 2, the more and more I'm starting to believe, yeah, it really could come this year. Because if we're hearing this information now and they're talking about different modes in the game, clearly the game needs to be at a state where it's coming close to completion, com coming close to going gold, uh, and that means a likely release date of this year. So that's something to consider as well. Um, again, you know, that's speculative, but I do believe when you hear about these kind of rumors and uh, these rumors are, are from someone that I, I really trust. This is an Emily Rogers. This is someone I know. I've met in real life. I know this guy. I know Jesse. So I know that this isn't just BS he just throws out there. And knowing this and trusting him and trusting this information makes me believe that 2020 is happening. Breath of the Wild 2 is coming this year. So 
Um, stay tuned because we're going to be talking about a lot of the Breath of the Wild sequel this year. Uh, Breath of the Wild is my favorite game of all time. I'm a Zelda guy. Uh, you guys seem to really like talking about the Zelda stuff, whether it's speculative or rumors or whatever. Um, maybe I need to talk more Zelda at this channel. It kind of gets back to my grassroots as a Zelda fan site owner and runner. Um, it's a lot of fun. I actually used to have a series called Zelda Inquiries, if you guys remember, way back in the day. Shout out to anyone who remembers that. Uh, but anyways, you guys let me know what you think about this. Uh, and if you want me talking about Zelda maybe once a week here or so, because, man, I do I love not just the news. I just love talking Zelda. I love talking future Zelda games. Uh, so let me know what you think down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Rubblejans from Nintendo Prime. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you're wondering if there's going to be a Prime News episode today, the answer is unfortunately no. Um, I had a scheduling conflict come up, but there will be a new Prime News episode dropping tomorrow. I'm starting a regular schedule for it. Uh, but once that schedule starts, I'm sticking to it. It hasn't officially started yet. That's why I haven't announced anything. Uh, but there should be a Prime News episode tomorrow starting at a regular time. Uh, more on that later. Be sure to enter our Animal Crossing New Horizons giveaway by liking, subscribing, uh, commenting, and hitting that bell icon. Otherwise, folks, I'll catch all of you guys in the next video.